Hi everyone, lovely kings and queens and karibuni uh, sana to each one, teach one. Welcome back to each one, teach one. This is Regina, the blessed, the favored, and the unstoppable. Now, one of the reasons, the main reason why I call us uh, kings and queens, wherever you are out there, kings and queens, is because it's a way of us reminding, of, uh, reminding ourselves of who God really, how God really takes us to be. How, how does God view us? Because I can tell you, I don't know about you, but I believe that God values human beings, kings and queens. Imagine of all the species that he actually created, it's only us as human beings. It's only the human being species, kings and queens, that he found relevant. He found, he found actually, sorry, he found it important to actually place them at a higher level, to give us more responsibilities, to prioritize us to a point that... Uh, he actually sent his only son to come and die for us in St. Queens. What more do you do ask of this God? He has actually valued you. That's why I always remind you, he constantly remind the kings and queens that you are somebody and never let anybody make you feel worthless in this life. Be it a friend, be it a relative, be it even at your workplace, kings and queens, be it even you yourself. Whenever you have that, that, uh, that sound or that actually that voice telling you inside within you, maybe nobody else can hear it around you, reminding you or telling you that Sasa Wewe, who are you? Turn it down, shut it down, shut it off, keep it off from you, kings and queens. Kings and queens, because God calls us his friends. He actually tells us that we are heirs together with his son, Jesus Christ. And actually, he reminds us that we reign together with Christ. So if God, if actually Christ is king and we believe in him and we are in him, we are also kings, kings and queens. So walk, talk, and do things as a king and a queen out there, kings and queens. Now, Karibu Nisana, yesterday we started off um, a topic on applications and their security. How secure are you when you're using these applications that we have actually downloaded? Uh, in um, most of our devices, with whatever kind of form uh, form of device, mobile device that you're actually using out there, kings and queens. So we shared on a couple of things uh, for those who took time to actually listen into what we had yesterday. God bless you so much for availing yourself. Remember that we are always here to remind us what God really expects us to learn along the way, even as we continue running after his great destiny for us and what god wants us to realize that he's involved in, he wants to be involved in our lives in whatever little major or minor things that we're actually doing in our lives it's not like there is there there is one part of your life that god cannot be involved in if you choose to, to follow this god if you choose to be in god then he wants you to us to open all the avenues, all the places in your heart, in your life, kings and queens, the areas in your life, kings and queens, so that he is going to guide you and show you where you're going wrong, where you're doing right and how, where to improve and where to actually do better, even as you continue running after his great destiny for you. So we spoke about applications on our devices and the, uh, how secure they are and what you can do, what are the advantages, how how. What are the advantages that we can actually appreciate because of this high technology that we actually have in this century, which is really amazing, I believe. I don't know about you, but I really appreciate this high kind, uh, high kind of technology that we're actually experiencing in this century. And also, I try to share, we try to share on disadvantages of these applications. And I remember that one, one of the disadvantages that I actually spoke of or spoke about when it comes to these applications that we use, for example, to, to get to get actually to get to social media is oversharing over you misusing it overdoing it kings and queens now too much of something is actually to number one or too much of anything is poisonous and it is really true even when it comes to these applications that we have could be uh, twitter could be uh, instagram could be whatever applications that you're actually using to log into or actually to get 
to this social media platform. If overused or misused kings and queens, they can be a kind of an addiction. Now that leads us to today's topic, which is addiction. I'm asking you, is it just, just you know, is it just a hobby or is it an addiction? When you're using these applications that you have downloaded on your phones or mobile devices, are you doing it as a hobby or are you, has it now come to a level whereby, where we're actually going to call this an addiction, say that it's an addiction in your life? Now, basically, when it comes to, generally, when it comes to addictions, I don't know about you kings and queens out there, but for me, I used to think of addiction as, as something, you know, it has to be maybe, for example, you are addicted to drugs, you are addicted to a drug of any kind, could be alcohol, could be, for example, cigarettes, could be a bang, weed as we call uh, people call it kings and queens but then i realized that even as i um, as, as, uh, as sorry as i'm uh, actually sharing on this topic on applications on our mobile devices kings and queens plat social media platforms there are some at some point we could actually say that we are getting addicted to these kind of applications when you find yourself and now when you find yourself over sharing when you find yourself being restless restless because of this application, then it means that somehow it's an addiction to you. Now, according to Regina, the simple definition that I, I would actually think of, of uh, the word or the term addiction is simply being hooked to something or su a substance to a point that you have actually lost control of, over it. That is, it seems impossible for us to actually, you, you know, to get out of it. So, for example, your phone, there are people that are actually addicted to their phones who just want to keep checking on their phone. They cannot even focus on a, you know, a, a simple conversation. Now, when it comes to addiction and this question that I'm actually posing to you and I, I'm asking you, is it, you know, when you're using your phone, when you're using these applications to get to social media or actually basically using social media platforms, kings and queens, is it a hobby, just a hobby, or is it an addiction? So that was my definition today on today's topic on addiction, for example, to these applications on our mobile devices or actually um, um, social media, kings and queens. Now, if not well used, or if not carefully used, kings and queens, our phones and the application on these devices to, to get help that actually help us to get to social media, kings and queens, you can you might find yourself getting hooked and living a kind of life where, where you cannot do without it, and that actually. It's, it's one of the way, to me, it's one of a way of telling me that, hey, Regina, you know, just suck on your mefika, you're already now an addict to your phone or to the applications that you have actually uh, downloaded, or maybe, for example, social media, kings and queens. Now, how do you tell? I don't know about you, but I'm asking you, how do you know, how do you tell that someone is actually addicted to this kind of a social media kind of a society or actually the applications that they have? And remember, I'm not specific uh, when it comes to these applications, these apps that you have on your phones. You know yourself, the one, the, you know, you know yourself better, kings and queens out there. You know what kind of applications that you're actually overusing out there if, if this topic is for you. Now, how can we tell that we, you and I are finding ourselves are actually getting addicted? We have an addiction. Now it has moved from a hobby now of using these applications or logging into so, to social media now into another level of being an, ad an addict of this thing. Now, the first thing that I would actually think of is if you find yourself that the first thing you do when you wake up, when you open your eyes, so you're right in, still in bed, you've just opened your eyes, it's a new day that God has grant, grant, granted to you. And the first thing you do is just pick your phone, you know, check for, 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 for you know, read your social media updates, check on comments or inboxes that you actually had, then it means that you are also falling into this trap of being an addict to these applications, kings and queens. Now, this sometimes you cannot really tell that you're falling into this kind of a form, kind of, a form of an addiction. Because we are so used to, to thinking that an addiction can it has only to be you know, you know, visible. It could be also from the inside, mentally, emotionally. And I remember that some time back, I used to have uh, this application on my phone. I actually, I still have the Bible application. So when I wake up, uh, I, when I actually woke up, I used to, the first thing I do is take my phone and, you know, I want to open this application, the Bible application and read a verse. 
but I found myself after some time when I take pick my phone and you know go direct to want intend actually to go read a, a, a verse of the Bible from my Bible application on my phone the mobile mobile uh, device. I find in the morning maybe kuna, there are some people who had actually inbox me or maybe miss calls. And then I get distracted and I'm like, ah, okay, let me just uh, flip through. Let me just go through these messages and maybe reply. If they, maybe there's something urgent uh, that I need to respond to. And by the time I know it's already 30 minutes, maybe I'm going to Facebook, I'm going to Instagram, I'm going to Messenger. And I'm like, my mind is already now, you know, it's already hooked. That's what I'm talking about. You wake up. Maybe for those who are married, your spouse is right next to you. Before even you say good morning to them, you are there. First of all, logging on to your Facebook account, to whatever applications that you actually have, to social media. That's how you tell that you're actually hooked or actually addicted to this kind of thing that we are talking about. Now, number two, sign or indication that you're actually addicted to social media you are actually addicted to these applications that lead you to to uh, social media kings and queens is that if if one-on-one -on -one conversations now start feeling strange to you and i can tell you this is something that we most of us are guilty of i'm not an exception a, a point came in my life where i used to feel like you know i'm more comfortable speaking to, to my friends and family over the phone and but when they are there one on one i'm like i don't really know how to talk to them directly i know yes but i feel a bit awkward. it's a bit awkward to speak to someone or to talk to someone one on one kids and queens now that's one way of us telling or knowing that we are actually being addicted to this thing of you know the kind of a phone addiction or these applications and being addicted to these applications that you have to keep on you know just, or you just want to keep calling via whatsapp or whatever it is application that you're actually using that is you prefer talking to someone via, via text or via call or on messenger or whatever it is that you are using out there now if you can hardly focus on a face-to-face -face conversation that is that for example you cannot even complete a conversation do a conversation with someone out there a friend or a relative or even at work with someone without checking on your phone checking your phone going flipping through or going through your messages replying to text things and things. it means that you're getting hooked you're you're getting hooked to this thing of social media and of misusing this actually misusing these kind of applications that we have on our mobile devices kings and queens now number three is actually if you find yourself posting something and later being so restless you may post maybe a photo or a video and you're there you just want to keep checking the phone nani ame comment nani ame like nani ame share you know you are restless and you you can't keep your calm you can't keep your cool mpaka uingie and you, you check whether it's Instagram, you want to see how many people have seen, have actually liked, have shared, have commented, kings and queens. It means that you're getting hooked. You are in the, that process. You are, or maybe you're already hooked and you are, you are actually an addict to social media or to these kind of applications that are actually leading you to social media. Now, point number four of us knowing that you are actually falling into the trap of being an addict of social media or actually these applications on your mobile devices is actually, if you keep on find yourself procrastinating or postponing major or minor stuff in your life just for you to be online with your friends or actually going through um, your, your news feeds, kings and queens, that you just, you know, you rather, maybe for example, you sleep for eight hours, but now because of social media or because of these applications, you find yourself sleeping for five hours, four hours, and when you wake up the next day, your eyes are full of eye bags, kings and queens, because of sleepless nights or not having enough, uh, enough sleep, then you are already on the verge of actually being hooked or being addicted, being an addict, what we are calling a social media addict, or these applications have actually hooked you and you are an addict to these applications on your mobile devices, kings and queens. Now, point number five that I actually came up with of how to identify whether you are being an addict to these social media platforms or actually these applications is that if you find yourself checking in Every location, wherever you go, my friend, you are there, you are posting. I gave an example yesterday of people that I have seen on social media, honestly. And someone has gone to a honeymoon. Now, maybe that's their lifestyle. 
this is just an example of something that I've actually seen. You have gone to honeymoon, you are there honeymoon, Manenos, we have just checked in at, for example, Safari Park, Ama, wherever it is, whatever hotel that you have actually gone to, or wherever you are with you and your family or your friends. Then it means that you're actually an addict to this kind of social media platforms or these applications. You don't have to lo tag your location, location or, at, or whatever activities that you are doing. Yes, you can if that's your hobby, kings and queens. But act actually, if possible, try to post it later, kings and queens. Because remember, there are, there are security issues that I actually shared with you yesterday of why we should, you know, important points to consider before posting something onto social media because you never know who is watching you never know what someone else's intention is for you and if there is someone with you know bad intentions or wrong evil intentions for you kings and queens they can actually track you down find you where you are you and your loved one and i'm very sure you don't want that to happen in your life you know that um Point number five of us, for example, finding ourselves posting videos and photos of where you are whereabouts. I think that's one way. To me, that's one way of us realizing that we are actually falling into this trap of being addicts to social media or to these applications that we actually have on our phones. Now, number six, as I come to a close, is actually you start hearing this kind of imaginary, imaginary notifications. Now, CG Kama, it has ever happened to you out there. And sometimes you get so many notifications or messages until now when even when nobody has actually you, your phone has not actually you have not received this not kind of messages or notifications you start hearing this imaginary to notifications the carrying tone of the messages or text messages or whatever applications of whatever applications that you're actually using that is one way of us telling us that you know of telling you it's one way of us realizing that we are actually becoming addicted to this kind of applications that we have. Yani unaka too, you are feeling like, ah, maybe that's a text message on Twitter. Maybe it's a notification from Facebook. And when you go check on your phone, nothing is there. So it means that in your mind, you're so used to these notifications that you start imagine having imaginary kind of notifications on your mind, kings and queens. Point number seven is actually, you know, finding yourself... For example, choosing the right status, you know, and photos or, for example, videos is a problem. Now, you take so many photos, 100 photos, only to choose one to post on so on your social media platform or using these applications that you have on your mobile phones, kings and queens. I mean, why, why, why take so many videos, so many photos just to pick one? Are you doing it? What's the intention behind you doing these things? Now, and I can tell you, as I mentioned, that these are things that we are all guilty of in some way. The last one is actually one indication that you are, are run, you are actually an addict, addicted to these kind of applications that you have on your mobile devices and also to social media is actually having no for example having no data or what sometimes we call bundles back home or wi-fi becomes so devastating that you, if, when your phone when you go to, uh, you know to a place or an environment where you don't have either wi-fi you don't have data you don't have what we are calling bundles sometimes some people call bundles things and things you feel like you know you are so devastated it's like your mood now is not the same because you're so used to your phone you're so used to this internet thinkings and queens your applications being on all the time that you cannot really do without kings and queens and your day becomes dull instantly because of all this now those are i you know um ways for us to identify the level to which we are now gauge yourself i don't know about you but there are things that i'm really learning when it comes to these applications remember that um it's very important for us to realize that besides us being on social media, besides us using these applications, kings and queens, we have a life. We have a real life to live, kings and queens. I mean, what's the point of us, for example, uh, having people around us, family, friends, and all we are doing is chatting and posting things and post, you know, commenting, sharing uh, on social media platforms or actually overusing what I would call carelessly using these applications that we have on our mobile devices. No, they were not made. They, we were not made for these applications. We, they were actually made for us. So we have the we have we are in charge. We have the control over these kind of applications. How we are using them. Let's stop being 
an addict out there if you, this topic is actually for you i'm actually as i mentioned i'm learning a lot from this uh topic myself and I, as i mentioned we are all guilty of all these things that we're actually talking about when it comes to applications on our mobile phones kids and things remember once again they were not made we were not made for these applications or for your mobile phone they were made for us so we are in charge we are the one to control how we use them when it comes to a point where you feel now you're becoming an addict to this thing, it's time for you to back down Kidogo and you are like, you know what, I have I have a real life to live. Now I've got to come to a close. We'll still continue some more. Um, uh, do I'll still do some more videos, a few more videos on this when God grants us the chance. And I hope that I'll have you. Um, you are going to actually be there. You are going to actually uh create time to listen into what um God has for us on our to uh, next topic, Kings and Queens. Now I appreciate you wherever you are. Have a great and wonderful time wherever you are. Afternoon, evening, or morning. God bless you so much. And remember that our good God loves us. He will never ever leave us. He will never forsake you or I. And once you know that and strongly believe it in your heart, please keep running after God's great destiny for you.